Hi, this is Poonam Figri. In my previous video, I explained how to define structure to XML document using XML schema. Today, going to explore X query. So first, we will see why there is a need of this X query. So as the use of internet increases, the number of applications also increases that use XML to exchange and store data. So need for tools to effectively manage XML data also increases. And that's why X query was introduced. So in today, I'm going to explore following contents like XPath, X query, validating XML document and X query examples. For studying X query, you must know X path. So that's why I will start with X path. So what is XPath? XPath is a specialized expression uh, language uh, which is used to pass through the XML um, document. And like, as you know that XML document includes the hierarchy of XML nodes or XML elements. So this XPath is works as a pattern stream uh, to pass through this uh, node hierarchy. And uh, it it helps to retrieve the chunks of the data from the XML document. So the result of XPath expression is set of nodes. This XPath expression is the sequence of the steps separated by forward slash. So now let us see the examples of this XPath. So before see uh, uh, before examples, first have a glance on xml document so uh, here i have taken one xml document uh, which includes the bookstore as a root element and it includes the multiple occurrences of book elements where book is a complex element which further includes sub elements like title author price uh, where you can see that multiple occurrences of authors are there and uh, book elements has one attribute language so I am referring this XML document for explaining the XPath and X query. Now see, the, this is the example of XPath. So XPath expressions look like this. Slash bookstore slash book title. So here it starts from the root element. So when you uh, write the slash, uh, at the first position, it indicates that the XPath expression will search uh, to start its search from the root element. So, bookstore is a root element that XML of that XML document. So, it will uh, parse the XML document um, uh, and it will find this pattern in that XML patterns uh, in, in that XML documents and retrieve the title elements which are in a book element and this book element in turns is within bookstore okay so the output of this xpath expression is that it retrieves the title elements of all the books instances in the bookstore okay so you can see the previous uh, slide in the previous slide see the uh, in a book element the title is fundamental of data structure the another is data structure and algorithm the third one is art of programming and fourth is fundamentals of algorithm so you can see all these titles are retrieved using this xpath expression okay so another example you can mention the predicate uh, you can insert a predicate in xpath expression itself to um, apply the conditional retrieval okay so here the path which is chosen is starting from the root element bookstore within that book and you want to retrieve all the book elements where price is less than 500. So in our sample uh, XML document, there is only one entry of the book element uh, whose title is Art of Programming having price for, uh, 400 which is less than 500 and rest of the books are having price greater than 400. Okay. Now, what is X square? You have seen the you are familiar with the relational databases. So to retrieve uh, data from the relational databases, standard language query language is used, and that is the SQL. 
So using SQL query language, you can retrieve the any data from the relational database. Similarly, to retrieve uh, XML data from the XML document, XQuery is a standard language. The World Wide Web Consortium W3C has developed XQuery as the standard language for XML. It is used to retrieve the information from the XML document. And it is, it is used in conjunction with the X clause is uh, X path. Okay, because X path uh, helps the X query to uh, parse uh, this XML document uh, in, in a hierarchical manner and retrieve the particular node from that uh, hierarchy. So um, now this X query is X query expression is organized into five sections and that five sections are for, let, where, order by and return. So the starting letter of all these keywords form a word flower and it is pronunciation pronounced as flower expression. So first clause is for clause which specifies the variables uh, variable that uh, range over the result of XPath expression. It is similar to the uh, from clause of your XM SQL query. Okay, so uh, using this for clause, you can iterate over the um, elements uh, which are retrieved from the XML document. Then another clause is let clause. This allows the result of XPath expression to be assigned to variable names. Next clause is where. It is similar to your SQL query where clause, which um, performs the additional test on the joint tuples from the for class. So whatever the tuples which are retrieved, not not a tuple here, whatever the elements which are retrieved from the for loop, if you wants to apply further condition or the further con um, additional test on, on that element, then we can add that predicate in a where clause. The another next clause is order by. Uh, this is similar to your SQL order by clause, which is used to sort the output and return clause which allows the construction of the result in XML form. So let us see the example of X query. So uh, we will see the simple query to retrieve the titles of the books from the XML document that we have previously seen. So you can write the X query using flower expression. So I have used here the for clause for dollar $x. So this dollar is uh, it is used before this x so x is considered here as a variable okay and it is attached with the dollar here so dollar x in and here you have to specify the x path okay so this for clause will iterate over the elements which are retrieved by this x path expression okay and dollar x will be used as a iterator Okay. So this uh, uh, re uh, uh, return clause will return the titles of this dollar uh, $x variables. Now what are the contents of the dollar $x? This x path expression is going to retrieve all the book elements available in a bookstore. Okay. So there may be multiple book elements. So one by one it will be stored in this dollar $x and the as you know that the book element is a complex element which in turn includes the title, price, author element. So I am simply retrying the title from this variable dollar $x. So the output will be like this, title and uh, means the only the title element is a display of each of the book. So total four books are there in XML document. So the titles of these four books are displayed here. Now this is the next query to retrieve title and price of books having price greater than 600. Again, um, I have it, uh, it retrieved the book element uh, from the XML document and assign it to $x and then I have taken a variable $b title and I am assigning $x title to it. So only title element will be assigned to this particular variable. This is act as a second variable $b price and I am assigning the price 
of this retrieved element to this particular variable. I have add that the extra condition means the extra um, test is added uh, on this retrieved element that only consider the element whose price is less than 600. So you can add this predicate in this where clause and while forming the output I want to display this output as a string. So that's why in a return clause I you make use of the function concat and I have concatenated the values of these two variables dollar $b title and dollar $b price uh, uh, in, and use uh, the space in between. So the output is uh, it is not displaying the element tag but it is displaying only the values of that um, uh, title and price tag and the value of the title tag is fundamentals of data structures and the value of the price tag is 500 which are concatenated with space okay this is the second entry now, this is the third query to retrieve the sorted list of titles of the books having price 400 so this is the example of order by clause so here again I have retrieved the books elements and iterating over that books elements and I have added the condition that the price should be greater than 400 and order the output according to the price. Okay, so it will be ordered according to the price and displaying return dollar x title. So I am displaying the title only. So title of these three elements are displayed where the price is 400 and it is displayed according to the increase order of their price. Okay. Now. Now, I will show you how to uh, validate your XML document using the XML schema. So, for this, I am using the Altova XML Spy uh, software, uh, which is used as an editor. So, you can create your XML document which adheres to the XML schema. So, for this purpose, first you have to create XML schema. So how will you create that XML schema? So just go in a file, then say new, and here you have to choose the document as uh, XSD with extension XSD. So you can choose XSD schema version 1.0. If once you say OK, the blank file for the XML schema will be open. Just go in a text tab and by default some code will appear here okay now what it is showing it is showing the access as the um, namespace for the schema and here you have to enter the root element annotation means here you can write the comments uh, means which describe this root element and then you can insert the rest of the elements within this schema tag I have already created the schema file so I am displaying that schema file so I have created a schema file for the book database so this is the schema that I have created so access colon schema uh, this access is the namespace which is used the root element of my XML document will be the bookstore that's why I have declared it here this is the complex type because it is in going to include the sub elements like book and this book is a sub element of bookstore this book has multiple occurrences that's why max max occurrences unbounded it again a complex type so include the sub elements like title author price and language so now i want to create the xml document which conforms to this xml schema so you can create a after creating this xml file you have to validate it you have to uh, check its well formedness means whether it is syntactically correct or not then you can validate it and it is valid once it is valid you can create the xml document which adheres to this xml schema so that's why you have to go in a new again now you can create a xml document so choose the xml file it is uh, yeah 
extensible markup language it will ask you whether you want to use the DTD or schema so I'm here using schema so just click it okay now it is asked to you the path where to choose a file where your schema is saved so this is the path of my file just browse it and say okay okay so you can see it is providing the structure yeah it is now it is confirming this XML documents to this book schema dot XSD that I previously created and now they it, according to the schema the structure is available here now you can gen create this uh, elements for this XML document so in XML schema we have seen that books may, there may be the multiple instances of the books element so you can insert a multiple instance of the book element I have already created this file so just to see okay so this is a XML document which it which conforms to the uh, book schema dot XD. So according to the structure which provided in a book schema dot XSD, this file is created. Once you create this file, then you have to uh, first check its well formedness, so whether it is uh, a valid XML document or not, and then you have to validate it. So when you click this valid button it will validate this xml documents uh, across the xsd which we have attached to it so just click it it will show here the message that xml document is valid so now this is the xml document valid xml documents which conforms to this book schema dot xsd okay now i am going to demonstrate how to write x query here so for writing the x query just go again in a file then new and here you have to search x query or x queue uh, you can choose any one so i am taking here x query that is xml query language then say okay it will ask whether uh, how will you going to create your new x query file so I, I have taken generic query transform just say okay so this dialog box will be open okay, now here you can write your code it's representing the version information of XML here you can write a code I have already created a code so let us see the first query so this is a simple query that we have seen previously which display the list of uh, titles a list of the titles of the books available in a bookstore so I have written this query in uh, this curly bracket and in output tag so this output tag will be explicitly created and the output of this query will uh, be encapsulated within this output tag so I have already demonstrated this query so just see how to execute this query so once you write this query then you have to check again is well formedness to check whether it is syntactically correct then validate it once the query is valid, then you can execute it. So go to the menu XSL slash X query, click it, and then from that go to the sub menu X query slash update execution. It will ask you to choose a file or uh, XML file on which you are going to uh, apply this query. Now this X query is used to retry the data from the XML document. So you have to specify the XML document. Uh, on which this x query is going to be executed so i have already stored it um, uh, in my folder so i'm i have given the path of my xml file which i have shown you previously and then i just say execute so the query is get executed so this is the output it is in a output tag the first title the title of the first book fundamentals of data structure the title of the second book this is the title of third book and this is the title of fourth book so in this way you can execute the rest of the queries also thank you